Welcome back in to more Sea of Stars, my friends. Now, uh, let me bring up uh, the chat here. And we'll get going. Got a jam going here. As we are more than halfway through this uh, second chapter. So, which way were we going? Uh, I think we came from... I know, did we not? I don't remember which way. This is Autumn Hills. This is like a new area. I think we came from there. We did. Alright. Oh, we can go across here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, crap. Let's do this. Twenty-three damage, not enough. Dude. Oh boy. Alright, we got Rashawn now, a new character. Removes a random lock on the target. One lock at a time. Uh, soothing mist heals the party. Deals arcane damage while pulling enemies together. Let's try this. Okay, not bad. gonna go back and save it because we lost some health although I don't know if that heals us in fact I don't think it does we need to find a camp there's let's see what's down here Oaken armor. What's that for? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's better, yeah. Guys, uh, I think we need to jump across there. Oh, never mind. Oh, side. Can't do that yet, I guess. Let's go. 
also fight these guys, see what they're about. Oh shoot, there's three people here. are already almost dead. Alright, Sunball. I'm gonna deal some damage to all of them. All right. We might actually die here. Damn it! Dude, that sucked. Alright. I need to heal him. What's up, Fervent? How you doing, my friend? This game looks a lot different than you expected. Oh, you haven't seen this game before. Yeah, it very much encapsulates encapsulates uh, like the feeling of like an old like Super Nintendo RPG, I guess. So this is really good. Hey, Rashawn, you gotta kill somebody with this attack. Alright, good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he might die. Okay, they're back. Thank god. Now we can, now we can win this. That was close. We need to heal our party. Um, I'm gonna bring Garl in just because he has more HP right now. And Sarai. Until we find a camp here. You got a shop? Ain't that good. What else should I sell these to? Buy her a better weapon. Sell her old one. By Hardy Stew as well. Doing good? That's good, man. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Just uh, chilling after work. Have you been able to play anything lately? Been busy? Doo -doo -doo. Oh, shoot. Get over here. I mean, this is a this is a really really good RPG. This is a uh, I'm well impressed with this game. I need to go back up. Oh shoot! I see what I gotta do. Kind of don't want to fight those enemies right now. Release this ladder. Huh, how do we get over there? Uh, oh, there we go. We're gonna get this chest over here first. Maple cork. Oh, that's for uh, for Sean. Better weapon. Okay. Team Fortress Two. Oh, yeah, I've heard of those. Never played one. 
Some Elden Ring doing some of the DLC maybe or Check this out. Yeah, th this is this is really good. And what, what's great about this RPG too is it doesn't require a lot of grinding or anything. It's like I'm making pretty organic progress. There's been some challenging fights, but if you take it on with the right strategy, you can you can beat it. You know, it's I'm not having to, I'm not getting roadblocked a lot like I do in some other RPGs where it's like oh great I'm not a high enough level because the game requires me to be like ten levels higher or something dumb. What about this one is that if you're making it to something it's because they you're supposed to be here you know it's uh, very organic as I call it uh, where do I go from here oh wait um, actually I don't know oh there we go up to this graphics music great story. Oh, that was just for that. I'm gonna go over this way. Lots of great and diverse looking areas. I can barely tell where I'm going here. There we go. There's got to be a campsite in here. hate the grinding aspect yeah sometimes I hate that like I want to grind on my own terms you know like I don't want the game to force me to grind be like oh you're not good enough it's not that you don't know how to play the game it's just that your characters and the game is way too hard for no reason so they, they need you to, to get like 10 levels higher like I want to grind on my own terms sometimes in RPGs I'll grind early just to get ahead of the game in case something like that happens like, I don't mind grinding on my own terms, on my own time, if I want to, but if the game forces you, that's where I have a problem with it. That was my problem with Shin Megami Tensei V, right? I mean, I got stuck in the game. I'm having to grind so much, so much. I can't make any progress anymore. Uh, wow, we got five enemies. So I'm gonna do, I guess, the boomerang, boomerang thing. Come on! Did some damage to all of them at least. Yo, 45 damage! I'm blocking some of it. Alright, so... Gonna have him heal her. We need that. We need that. But if I die here, I gotta do this whole section over again. Dude, that attacks all of us. Oh my gosh, I gotta take... I have to start healing people. So it sucks, I have a turn, but I can't even use it to attack. I have to heal. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh no! Damn it, that attack. Everybody's dying. That is Orient. Dude, why'd I get jumped by five enemies? Oh, he's down. Yeah, we're dead. We are so dead. They're gonna do mirror attack again. Just great. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. 
I don't have a chance to attack. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Meanwhile, the enemies keep getting... She's down now. Oh, yep, I'm dead. Goodness me, we lost all that progress. Ugh, I blocked it. Uh, this is so bad. Caught her back. But again, I can't even damage them because I keep having to heal. I don't get a chance to fight. He's down now. She's going to be next. Oh, gosh, damn it. I'm dead. Very unfortunate. That's so annoying. I got into I basically got into a trap there where like it was gonna be game over no matter what. What if they're gonna let me continue from right there or not? Sometimes they do. Okay good, they did. I Cause I didn't wasn't even fully healed to begin with. I'm also gonna change my team here. There we go. Put the other two in reserve. Now I think we'll take them out. Get the jump on them. They still let you try it again. I know sometimes they make you go back to a checkpoint, but this one was like, well, so that's not too bad. We're gonna get him this time, because now I got a full full health. They're not gonna beat me now. damage in all of them. <sighs> the problem is there's five of them and they just keep getting into attack over and over again. I'm going to try to take these two out here. There's one dead at least. Locked it. Oh no. Let's see. I'm gonna disorient. Kill this guy. There we go, there's another one dead. Cast Lunar Shield. Something I should have done last time. No damage taken. Swapped out for him. There we go. It was a tough fight. It's because of these guys and their mirror attacks. Alright, let's combo this guy here. Kill him. There we go. Alright, just about have it under control. Mm -hmm. 
I still almost died here. Give me a camp, please. It's our team for now. been a save point in a little while here. Maybe I should start giving people some stuff. There we go. Guess if some people are healed. Shoot, another battle. Are we equipped to win this? I don't know that we are. Let's get the beat on them. It's three enemies. Actually, I'm just going to do a regular attack on this guy. Shit, I missed all that. Stay alive, Zale. Zale has to heal himself. UI is amazing. Oh yeah, it's really good. It's, it's very simple. So easy to just do what you need to do. Nothing complicated about it. When an idiot like me can <laughs> navigate things easily in RPG, you know it's a good thing. Right, that guy should almost be dead. Oh, that mirror attack. Damn. All right now I'm gonna cast Lunar Shield because now we need the healing. To protect us for a turn. Kill him, Zale. Yes. All right, Garl. Good, all right, three on one now. Good teamwork. He will do healing light again. I don't even know what's coming after this. He will nourish himself. And she will do, actually no, we'll swap. Never Sarai. We'll disorient. 
allowing us to get more moves in. Like healing her now. And then Garl can attack. Kill this guy. There we go. Team aspect. Getting it done. And we leveled up. So everybody levels up at once too. And then you get to pick some extra bonuses. A bonus stat. Let's bring her magic. I've been bringing up people's defense a lot lately. Magic defense for her. Rashawn. Oh, mana points. Because he's a healer, so the more mana, the better. Physical defense. Garl. Magic defense. That's balanced out. And you have more hit points. Okay. Boy, do we like need a save point here. Tough little area. Oh no. <laughs> Shoot, now they each get to take a turn. They could probably kill us. Just need a camp. We don't get our healing even after leveling up. We need a freaking camp here. There we go. I need to heal. I have to spend my turn healing just to take damage again.
get him. There we go, team. Shoot, I, no, I didn't want to fight these guys. Dang it. Sean. He's dead. Shoot. Okay, hold on, guys. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I do here. Everybody's got low health. Like, I can't uh, kill him. Give ourselves a chance. Ugh, blocked it. Good, okay, she can disorient him. Heal, heal, heal. Ugh, freaking thing. Gosh. Right, Sean's back. We're gonna heal the party. Just to take damage again. Thanks. These enemies don't go away. They keep getting turns. Like, enemies get so many turns here. Like, their speed of attack is ridiculous. This guy keeps going. Come on, Sarai. Let's kill him now. Give me a camp, please. This is like one of the hardest sections of the game. Because they don't give you any checkpoints. No camp, no chance to cook or heal or save or anything. It's just like, dang. Oh, that background's great. There's got to be a camp up here. Yes, that's the wel most welcome sight I could possibly see. Oh my gosh. A, we haven't needed a campfire more than that in this game. Let's cook too. Some healing items. Another one of those.
make another parfait. I probably want to make another one. So we have these as backup. Curing KO. Right now, we can save it. Oh, the color scheme is brilliant. Yeah, there's so many great colors in this game. Like, all the areas have their own kind of feel to it, their own music. And the use of, like, all the different colors. Absolutely brilliant. that needed to be oh boy do we have a boss in here this might be a boss Reciting a poem or what? Okay. You see? And the whole thing's full, so I assume that that's good. Pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. Can't go back. Is that like, did he speak in like a riddle? Uh, it's something about bringing forth the leaves or something. I didn't really pay attention to his little poem. But like, all these lights are filled, so I assume there's something like this is what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I gotta watch my stream back to see what he said. <laughs> oh, 
I can rewind it. I don't know if I can rewind the stream, can I? I can't rewind the stream. Great. Well. Uh, we did just save it. Like, I really don't know what it wants me to do here, is it? So it's nothing about, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the whole screen. Beautiful shot, yeah, the moon in the background. Very nice. I have to do this, because I have to see what this stupid guy says again. This is so annoying. This game is being very difficult tonight for some reason. It's never been like this. Like this crazy. Right, there we go. So we go in, what does this guy say? She talks in a riddle, and I guess you have to, like, figure it out. When the moon shines bright on autumn sheaves, which I already had shining bright, so... Then what? Comes forth the abomination of roots and leaves. That's not true. So I, I think I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Am I supposed to... There's like no indicator coming up or anything. I think it just means to bring the moon up, right? Are you, are you a bad person? Uh, some days, yeah. <laughs> shave zero? Yeah, I needed to shave my beard. It's got too long, I hate it. It pisses me off when it gets that long. Only sometimes. Um, what do I have to do here? This doesn't make any sense. I feel like this is what I'm supposed to do, like fill up all those, which they are. What is this riddle? So oh, I could push these? Oh my gosh. I've been trying to interact with these before. There we go. <laughs> oh, now we got a boss, right? Here we go. Multiverses? Who's Sam Jack? Take is that? <laughs> I haven't even kept up multiverses at all. I like refuse to play that game right now. Because of their awful grinding and monetization. Oh, Samurai Jack. I was like, who's Sam Jack? Samurai Jack, yeah, I know him. Um, he got to be in there? Let's do Lunar Shield, because I don't know what this guy's going to do. We created a leaf monster. Why would we do such a thing?
Well, that didn't damage him. That didn't damage him either. Let's try this. That didn't damage him either. Alright. How about the sun? Okay, that damaged him. Is it only like fire attacks or something? Oh, I think I need to get rid of his shield first, I see. The leaf shield. He got leaves back. So Zale's the only one that can damage him? There we go. No, he still can't damage him. What the? I don't even know what to do. I know, we're not damaging him. I'm like, what the heck? I, I have to get rid of like his leaves first, but there's only one move that I have that can do that? That's so dumb. A solstice strike must do something. Come on. Nothing. Goodness me. So the only thing I can do it is this sunball move here from uh, Zale. When I have enough magic points to use it. Now I'm going to disorient him. There's a, he got the leaves right back! What is the point of this? What is the point of this? Yeah, I want to try to get more hits on him when the, when the leaves are gone, but they just like return so quickly. Like it's like one move and then they're back on him. I have to spend time building up Zale's magic points. He's got his ultimate, but I don't want to do that if I can't. Let's do Sunball. I'll try it on him after this. What? Oh, that didn't even work this time. <laughs> what kind of rules are you playing by a game? Alright, how about Ultimate Attack? I've never seen this before, so. This is some cool animation. That damaged him. That certainly did. He's flashing like a boss from an old NES game. I don't know the rules that this guy's playing by. I'm gonna give Zale some magic points right there.
Wait, where's leaves gone now? Like, now they're back? Wait. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. No, I have, I have to heal now. When he's naked, you can damage him, yep. <laughs> Lose the leaves, buddy. It's not a good look. Oh, gosh, this guy's annoying. I need to hit him with a sun attack again, but I don't have the magic points again to do it. Try the sun thing again. Now what? How do you... I don't think it's gonna do anything actually. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, okay, now he's he's gonna get it now. Freaking die. Leave me alone. It's like certain attacks would like maybe get the leaves gone, but then other he would just get it right back. It was kind of a weird fight. He was playing some by some weird rules there. Thanks, me too. Yeah, you like that one? Or was that one barking up the wrong tree? I'm just trying to get to the root of the joke. So this is a flashback? Huff huff. That's me. <laughs> Believe it yourself. Meets is gonna have the song, don't you worry. Meets is Meets is already done with the song, right? <laughs> I wanna see the headmistress in her battle gear. Biggest group to ever take down a dweller. Don't forget to do your chores now. Not if you want the twins to play with you later. Fine, okay, be good now. The tingling. Alright, so as long as you're taking on the dweller back then. Deadpool and Wolverine. That's gonna be good. Should be fun. I mean, the first two Deadpool movies are really fun. 
Although I'm kind of all marveled out, honestly. Like I like superhero movies, just <laughs> I see previews for, and I'm just like, I don't like. I have no emotion towards them anymore because I'm just tired of them. But I do want to see that because it's the last, probably the last Deadpool movie they'll do. But I mean, Hugh Jackman coming back as Wolverine is awesome. But I'm kind of just like over these these superhero movies because it just seems to be there was just way too many of them I was zeroed out I was yep yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since you were excited for Marvel movies that's what I'm saying yeah see like this one looks better than any of the ones they've probably released in the past five years you know I like the X-Men though a lot. Like I would love like a really good X-Men movie reboot, but like last time they did it like wasn't I don't know, it wasn't that great. It was like okay. I like the older X-Men movies. They were pretty good. Good till he appeared, yeah. <laughs> We're great now, Mitsu, so don't worry. Hopefully you are good too. They have returned. Whoa. Not looking so good. What's up, Anthony? Did you just text me? Really? Let me see. Da, da, da. I saw your text last night. I was like, it was late. I didn't even hop on any game last night. What are you doing? You hopping on Fortnite? Sweet. Texted coat, but texted me? Yeah. <laughs> That's how everybody texts me. They don't actually mean to do it. A Dukin in the house, ladies and gentlemen. A guest appearance. A few months later at Zenith Academy, all right? So this is like what happened, how they went through their training. A little bit more of their background. Never become strong enough if you don't develop your innate magic. <laughs> it's a new feature from the phones, yeah. So an excuse to talk to somebody. Do not interfere. Or what? <laughs> That'll be awkward today. Grumpy old man. That's basically me. Did they go off before they were supposed to? It made an intelligent sentence, yes. So what does that tell you? <laughs> 20 solstice warriors died a day, and what if we just move on? Not to be a hero anymore. Always says I'm not fast enough. I just feel awful. There's a way out. I'll find it for us. I feel like we were gonna play as them for a moment. Cold and hungry. Later that year at the Winter Solstice Festival. Oh, 
this is going to be Zale, isn't it? Oh, that was Valerie. Sorry, blue hair. Val. May Luana's might protect you. That's the uh, definition of a smart ass, right? <laughs> That's the smart ass right there. <laughs> That's what that is, Anthony. <laughs> and, and then here's little Zale. Solon's like I do. Snacks. So this is back to like the beginning, kind of of the game. You know, like which way we're going. Always make me smile. And this was their meeting. Oh, they met with these fools. Botox. I do about the bird of the solstice warrior life, yes. Fresh start. Oh, they took their uh, their deal, huh? Their fault. Acolytes could be bluffing. This explains the seal. It's not being a mess, and the kids are way too young to be of any help. Shady stuff going down. Yeah, I remember that. That was at the beginning of the game, too. A little kind of... <laughs> you being outsmarted. Alright, so that was our little Song Shrew Marsh. These are probably the last sections of the chapter, I'm guessing. No, no. Old school, yep. Super Nintendo kind of vibes. We've got another new area to explore, guys.
this a town? No, there's no way this is a town. This is probably an area with enemies. Yep. Whoa, turtles! Find a save point. There we go. Always pick the best games. Not always. Oh, not always. But there's so many good games out there to be discovered, honestly, dude. You yourself, you know tons of good stuff too. Tons of good shit out there. <laughs> I certainly pick some games that are probably shouldn't be played by anybody, but that's kind of makes it fun too. All right, let's fight these fools here. Look at that turtle. Look at this, like he's headbanging in there or something. He likes the music too. I pick I always pick the good games, guys, like Gollum, right? Gollum <laughs> and Catwoman. Oh shoot. Resist that, huh? Do I hit him with magic attacks? Whoa, 55 damage. Let's go, Rashawn. Mushrooms have little faces. Wait, oh, in the background? Oh, they do. <laughs> they like look at the zero guy getting his ass kicked. that fight we can actually just go back and save it so we can heal Wait, is there some... oh, yeah. what the heck? Oh, where was that save point over here. Yep. The world is your mushroom. And Jesse's in here. She does love mushrooms. Instead of the world as your oyster. See you, sucker. Look, there's an enemy waiting in the tree, too, so he would have fought us, too. We got a better shield for somebody. Yeah, leaf cape. There we go. Probably go to the next checkpoint.
I'll maybe play something else tonight. Two. See, every time I play this game, we always like get through a section or two. There's always progress. You know, we're always moving forward. That's what I love about this game too. It's like I could play it for an hour or two and know that I'm gonna make progress and not get stuck too too long at anything. Oh. Mushroom Village here. There we go. Easy. Well, that is. I like this area. <laughs> Remember the world is your mushroom? From what? What is that from? Clearly no. Did you guys, you guys said that to her before, I thought, right? It's not what it, it's not from anything, right? I think it was. We just said that to her. <laughs> like a while back. Yeah, we were in the car. As I said, we just said that to her, dude. <laughs> The world is your mushroom. Oh shoot, that guy ran away. Maple syrup. Cool. Treasure. City and order. Oh! Well, we're down here now. Uh, didn't we need that platform? Oh, we can climb here. It's a treasure over there too. I think if we fall down here, there it is. Spirit of Ninja. So Rashawn needs something. So this combo points build 10% faster. Ooh, actually. Give that to maybe Her. <laughs> Maple syrup or ketchup on pancakes? Oh, definitely not ketchup. <laughs> Kitty? Yeah, I don't know. Is that from a channel? Mitsu uses that one a lot. I can't remember if it's from a channel or if it's just like one that they just give you. Okay, now we can get over here. And now through here. I just love the details too and the graphics in this game. Doing everything they possibly could with the pixelated graphics, just like uh, Shredder's Revenge. Getting the absolute most out of the art style. That's awesome. Looks like this big mushroom should react to the time of day. Oh really? So nighttime it needs. 
That's cool. Oh. Crazy. Look at that little section. these guys because they're mirror attack fungu spike or is it the same guy oh, this is a different enemy never mind drop your blueberry is fine when it comes to on pancakes you got it from hype trains Oh, okay, but you got it back when you're giving bits, so something they gave to you. Hmm. We killed him. Hey. that one, huh? How about this? Locked it. There we go. Pancakes, regular syrup. Yeah, butter. I gotta have like the whipped butter, syrup. There'll be different flavors of syrup too. Chocolate chips I love on pancakes. So like baked into the into the batter actually is better. Cooked in with the batter I should say. Um, I mean now I want some freaking pancakes. Cough syrup. <laughs> Yeah. When we're sick, we have that on the pancakes. The Theraflu on there. Like someone like a witch doctor would live. Mm. 
And they certainly look like a witch. Welcome, welcome! Oh, this is. Oh, I remember we did meet a witch earlier in the game. This is her sister. Romaya's evil way isn't precisely that. Romaya's. So you're not an evil witch? So we don't have to fight her, too. Need a fruit from your tree? Just one. I'm hungry for those damn pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> Might be her evil sister. The evil sister's evil sister. More evil. I know you were the chosen one. Being a seer has its perks. Like, oh, I'm just can't really appreciate a fresh pear. Okay. You. Cold breeze is Why don't you come in for a little bit? Okay. Let's go in the witch's house. that will carry the night. Primal fear. Late of seasons. Ethereal occurrences volume two. Does she see pancakes as part of our prophecy? Sean. Giving us a key and a place to rest. All right. And shop, I like this. Try working out while talking about food. Yeah, <laughs> it's the last thing you want to talk about. The foodies. This food's always mentioned here. Yeah, we are foodies, aren't we? What's the final fantasy? What's my final fantasy? beating this game. Now what's the best Final Fantasy? I think we should ask who's played who's played multiple Final Fantasies? I know you have Anthony. So it might say Pancake. Pancakes is our Final Fantasy. It might be. It might be. Uh, we don't have a lot of gold to sell three of these. I would like some pancakes. If you want to start a hunger strike, you came to the right channel, yeah. If we just talk about food, it makes me want to eat. Stuff. 
You've played it, Mitsu, or like multiple ones. Do you, does any, do you guys have final favorite Final Fantasy games? I, I said I still only played the one, and it probably will remain my favorite. Honestly, I don't see it being beat. These RPGs take a while, though. Well, this one, I don't know how long... The, we put a lot of time into this, but... Again, like, you're moving through this game at such an organic pace. Just really good. Really good. <laughs> Maybe. Some weeks. Some weeks. That's why. First was five. F your favorite is six, which is three, right? On the Super Nintendo here in the States. It's so weird that they did that. So technically f three. But it's actually six. So it's technically six, yes. But it's three here in the States. I don't know why they decided to do that. Nine as the better one. Oh, I loved nine so much. That's, just, that's the only one I played, and I don't think I'm going to find one that I'm going to enjoy more than that. That was like one of the best RPGs I've played to date. Probably a top five RPG for me right now. Not that I've played a ton of RPGs, but of the ones I have played and finished, that's up there with them. Where will this one rank? This is a pretty damn good one, too. I think Eternal Sonata is pretty high on my RPG list, too. I really love that game. I do like Lost Odyssey as well, but there's just some things about it that are kind of annoying. Um, I don't like Shin Megami Tensei Five, as we all know. Uh, what else have I played? I mean, Venetica, my favorite, of course, will always be my favorite one. Oh, I, I love Two Worlds. I love Evolution. I love... Like, I like Secret of Mana, but I never actually played through it myself and beat it, so I need to, like, play it myself. <laughs> of course, I love this game. What else have we played? Like, Kingdom Hearts 3 was really good. Summoner was a really good game. There's been a lot of good ones. Yeah, Summoner's really good. Orphan, I don't really like. <laughs> Eternal Sonata. Eternal Sonata, was, it, that game was so good. That game was so good. The fantasy we meet along the way. <laughs> Hope I'm eating pancakes soon. Alright, let's end this part here. We will play more of this again, you know, soon. Just kind of work a little bit at a time. As we'll try to finish up this section and probably get to the next one, the next episode. Maybe even try to see how much left is of chapter 2 there is. We can maybe try to finish that up next time we play. That will do it for Sea of Stars. Everybody enjoyed more of this wonderful game. More to come, more to come. <laughs>